Good morning everyone, it's uh, Lance Eastman here again for Best Day Ever Mountain Biking and today it's enduro training here in the Riverhead Forest here in Auckland. Um, if you watched my previous videos, I've entered the EWS in Rotorua in March and I'm trying to turn this body that's made for darts into one that's made for EWS racing or at the very least a body that will get me around the course on time and get me finished in one piece. So we're going to check out some of the tracks here in Riverhead and hopefully get a bit of training done at the same time. Um, there is a race here in February, um, which I'm hoping to do. And if you want to check out some of the tracks that could be in it, um, come for a ride with me. All right, this track is up in the, the natives. Um, I don't really know the name, so if someone does know the name, they can maybe leave that in the comments. Um, it will get a bit confusing with the names of these tracks, but... Whoa. Take a line in it like the one. Give it the trick. No doubt when they do have the, the race in here, it'll bucket down with rain the night before. Uh, it's usually the way it goes in Auckland. Or even in Rotorua for that matter. Just praying that. We do have an EWS race in Rotorua, it's actually dry. Here's one of these line choice things. Uh, there's a straight line here down over these roots, um, which not so bad when dry, but when wet, kind of sketchy. Um, or you can take the easy route, which is on this side here, but you've got to take a sharp turn to get round to that line. Um, so I think I'm going to take this line, but I think I might take it slightly to the left side as we're looking. Um, and um, yeah, should, should be okay. All right, so this is not the most brave line I'm taking in here, uh, but it's a straight line, so I'll take it. I didn't take the bravest line down that bit, but I took what I think was the safe but quickest line. Ooh. A bit tricky as well, okay. Oh, yeah, luckily they've got a nice bridge in here. Ooh. Cool. And we're down at the bottom. Well, I'm back sitting having a bit of lunch break. Um, I've only done 6Ks, um, which isn't very much for enduro training. Um, but I think I've been filming too much, so I need to get out and clock up a few Ks after lunch. Um, it reminds me a little bit when I was um, in Italy earlier in the year. Uh, I told uh, the guys I was riding with that we used to stop with a sandwich by the side of the trail uh, and eat it, and they were horrified at that. They preferred to have a three or four course lunch with beer and wine, um, which I did enjoy to be fair. Uh, but not New Zealand way, sandwich and, a, and a West Auckland rainwater, my, my sponsor. Um, so we'll see you on the tracks in a minute. Not sure if this is a good idea or not, but uh, I see the end of Metal Bridge is still there. So I think the beginning might be there as well, but getting from the back to the beginning doesn't seem that easy, but we're giving it a crack and we'll see if we can get there. Well, the good news for those of you who know Riverhead, um, I found uh, Metal Bridge, or Cheese Grater as it may be known, um, is still here. Um, the bad news is that I had to hike all over that stuff to get here. Um, probably would have been easier to come up the trail the other way. But anyway, I wanted to see it still here, um, so we'll, um, we'll give it a go. All right, Metal Bridge. The other slightly frustrating thing, as you may notice, is that Somewhere along the line I've dropped a glove, so I'm going to do the whole Michael Jackson thing now with the one glove. It's lucky it's the one on my shifter, which is I really need. Oh, lovely. A nice bit of track, this. Should probably go back and look for my glove, but 
I really can't be blowed hiking over those trees again. And I can't be 100%. Oh, that was my bait, that little bit. <laughs> Someone else cut my other work out by the today. And then we come out of the little bridge. Ooh. All right, we're following Vaughan in on Detroit routes. He's got bulls to trail, so... Clearly knows his way around. He's fast, obviously. Right, didn't make it today. Ugh. Done that sometimes at that, but not today. All right, Vaughan's certainly making it look easy. Let's go on, Burger. Up the uphill bed. Up the hill. Didn't make the, that little ride up bit. Okay, it's official. It's really hot and I'm really tired. Um, I'd like to tell you that I've done 60 k's of cycling around Riverhead, but it's actually only 20 um, and I'm completely shattered. Um, not doing very well on this EWS training thing. Um, I have a medical condition whereby um, when I get tired, I have to sit down and have a long rest, which um, makes training very difficult. Um, either that or I'm just lazy, um, one of those. Um, anyway, we're going to do a trail called a Black Label, uh, bumped into Vaughan, who actually uh, designs a lot of these trails, and uh, he told me the name, so this one's Black Label. Uh, the first one we did is West Coast Riders Club, and the one in the middle is called Detroit Roots. So, um, yep, Black Label it is, and um, hopefully after my little rest, we'll get going again. All right, this is Black Label. The way you know you're on the right trail is it's got a bottle of Black Label wine at the top. Oh, been super hot today. Been drinking more fluids than a Kiwi backpacker at Oktoberfest. So hot. But tracks are running so awesome today. Woo! Good stuff. Right, that's a techie bit. Ideally, high line. Oh, low line, cross line, any line will do. Oh, and we go around, go around, woo, and we throw, woo, over the roots, and down, that was fun, who wants to do that again? This is one awesome piece of track, look at this, just a giant collection of spider web of off camber roots, I'm working my way back up here, in the dry today, of course it's pretty easy, but in the wet, it's a little bit sketchy and this is a bit that I've never quite sure I've oh, oops, slipped trying to get up the hill um, is this off camber section here and you could potentially take a really tight line but it it looks tricky and slippery when wet I took this wide line which is still slippery but it's not quite as steep and and sets you up well maybe better for the corner I'm not sure but I think we'll have another try eh Okay, um, we'll call that crash for the day, eh? <sighs> Didn't see that coming. I've never seen that before either. Okay, just, uh, I was gonna say that was quite cool in the front wheel, just squished into that bit there. We'll call that a slow, slow speed dismount. I'm gonna do it again though, because I'm not gonna take that as a defeat. Okay, I'm not sure if that constitutes as a crash. 
but we're going to do it again anyway. Just got my foot oh, a little too low. It's easy when you do it right. And then whoa, over some roots. So cool, it's like a giant nest of off camber tree roots. Same bridge as we did before. Taking this oh, moderately high line. And the same one again, down the drop. And over the bridge. Back to the start again. Well, I think we're going to call that a wrap, uh, mostly because I've run out of my um, out of water. I've been drinking so much today. My West Coast rainwater is um, pretty much all gone. Um, so I'm going to go home now and call it a day. I only managed 27 k's of uh, pedaling. I was hoping for like 40 or 50, but um, I'm still a long, long way off being fit enough for this EWS event. Um, but I'm going to keep trying. I'm just going to keep plugging away day after day, see if I can get rid of my beer gut and uh, get a bit fitter and, uh, and keep going. But uh, if you get a chance to ride in Riverhead, it's an amazing place. Uh, it's amazing, yes, I'm standing on this big long wooden bridge here um, that was built um, you know, with a people like the West Coast Riders Club and, and Vaughan who I met today. Um, and you've got to take your hat off to them and I really must make an effort to help them out a bit more. So if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, maybe even a thumbs up or a like, that'd be much appreciated. And um, we'll see you on the next one.